more than anything, I hope that I hope they they I hope that the public learns for themselves that exploration rocks. Yeah. Just to get excited about it and see what we can do as a species when we put our mind to something. This is really like the stuff of science fiction. It is. You know, to voyage across our solar system and to explore an unknown planet, it's never been done since the 1980s. For people your age, you probably don't remember Voyager. I was right? like 84. Exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I once went to the Census Bureau statistics on their website, and I said, you know, if you were less than six years old at the last Voyager flyby in 1989, you probably don't remember it. And so I went to their tables, and I found that almost half the people of the United States have never seen anything like this before. That's true. So I'm hopeful that it's, it's really going to excite them to see what technology can do and what hardworking people can do. And just to see how beautiful nature is. How mind-blowing is it that this little place that's been orbiting for four billion miles in this frigid region of the solar system, this completely anonymous planet and its moons, is suddenly now a personality r rocketing around the internet all day. It's just amazing. In fact, uh, uh, working with Mark Showalter of the SETI Institute, who's on my science team, we did exactly that this spring. We, we um, uh, set up a website with various themes that we had selected. Those themes have to do with the mythology of Pluto. They have to do with um, honor. Since we are the capstone to the reconnaissance um, and exploration of the solar system, we wanted to honor all of the people and missions that came before us, to honor explorers of the Earth, to honor um, uh, science fiction, authors, movie producers, novels, things like that. And there were some more. Those were the themes. And then we let people, anybody who would come to the website, nominate names within those themes of explorers or famous spacecraft, so etc. The and then vote on it. So we've already taken all that data from... God, I don't even know how many people. Ask Showalter, or maybe it's tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands later, yeah. of people. They voted. And my plan is for us to listen to the people. Any idea when decisions will be made regarding voting for names or features? It's, it's still a little bit under discussion, but it's going to be soon. Very soon. Well, we have question. to just for convenience. Yeah. Look at how complicated that map is. We can't just keep referring to the bright thing and the dark thing because there's too many yeah. of them. And it's technically possible, but the decision is up to NASA. So if NASA endorses the project, the PI is not going to stand in the way. He's going to support it. Does the PI support it? <laughs> the PI supports it. And NASA knows that. Thank you very much. You Appreciate it.